I'm Elliot and welcome back to another episode of Elliot Exclusive where we dive into car audio and I give you the secrets that the professionals won't tell you. Today we're going to be focusing on LED light strips and how to waterproof them. You can buy two different types of LED strips. Now a lot of them will come pre-waterproof so they have a silicon coating on the outside of the LED strip which works okay. It, they, they work okay. However, if you want to get to the point where you don't have these things breaking down over time, I'm gonna show you a way that's gonna solve those problems. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting a, a housing over the silicon strip, which is gonna enable it to be completely waterproof and secured. And for me, when I'm working on a vehicle, I have a project in mind, I don't wanna go back and redo it. I really don't. Like, once I'm done with the job, I'm done. Like, I don't wanna to touch it again. As you get older and you evolve and your techniques and your ability to install, you realize that you have the limited time in this world and in the day, and you really don't wanna spend time going back to old jobs that you didn't do properly the first time, or you thought you did properly, yet there was a better way to go ahead and solve your problem. So today I'm gonna to show you how to waterproof these LED these strips to make them almost invincible per se. Okay, so this is the silicon tubing we're gonna use. Now this stuff, uh, I think it was about 15 bucks for a roll and it's about, what is it, five meters I think. So it's, uh, it's pretty cheap in comparison to uh, going back and fixing a job. And you get these little caps as well. You have to buy these separately, but these caps ensure that closing. So the idea is, you know, we're gonna put in LED strip in here like so, and then I'm gonna put this in the tube, I'm gonna silicon the ends. So I'm gonna secure that, I'm gonna silicon it there. That's gonna completely seal this tube so no water will get in there and destroy or get to any of the filaments. So this is the silicon I'm gonna be using. This is made by Parafix. It's maxi clear, multi-purpose co-polymer uh, sealant. So it's water resistant, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, you can buy any clear uh, silicon should be fine. Uh, this is about like eight bucks, so it wasn't too bad. But anyway, this is gonna seal everything and make it so no water can actually get in these LED strips. Now what happens is this piece basically slides into here like so. So they have a little string you tie to and pull it through, but uh, I, I'm finding it a little bit difficult, even though it is a small area, I'm just finding it's not really pushing through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little bit of silicon spray. Um, you could just, you could literally use butter or uh, olive oil or something, something a little bit greasy just to slide that in. Um, and the reason being, it will just, it will operate a bit easier going, going into that tubing. Okay, so I've went ahead and done a few other ones first because I'm still gonna kind of revise the plan of the last ones. So basically what I've done here is I've, I've slid in that LED strip through the silicon tubing. And then on each end, I've pumped silicon into that end and then I put on the cap, and I've done the same for this end. So you can see the clear silicon, um, also the solder joints in there. Uh, now, like I said, if you wanna see how to solder these guys, I have another video on that, I'll link in the description below. Uh, but this will ensure a watertight connection, and this will last for a long, long time. The issue is if you go ahead and customize these strips like I did, and let's say you put a heat shrink over that piece and don't put the silicon tubing, yeah, it'll work, but for how long? And I've had issues in the past where it works for a year and then it stops working, so this should be a long-term um, solution for that, and they look good, so I'm also gonna either paint this black or I'm gonna tape it up with some, some cloth tape. Okay, so I've went ahead and finished all of my LED lighting strips. I got plenty more already, but here this is the finished product, so this will go up underneath the motorcycle and I'll go ahead and link a video so you can see what that final um, job looks like. But overall they turned out really well. It's very time consuming which I didn't anticipate as much as I wanted to, uh, but that's okay. Uh, at least this will last and um, it's gonna be, it's just gonna look awesome. That brings this video to a conclusion, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope this helps you in your future installs. This gives you a more reliable way of securing the LEDs and making sure they're waterproof tight. They're not gonna have issues down the road because that's the last thing you want, honestly. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, just please hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and share the video. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for more content. Guys, thank you again for watching and have a great day. I'll see you next time.